Welcome to Any Way You Slice It, where we talk about your identity and purpose in the kingdom of God. Come join author Ricardo Richardson as we slice our way to the core of God's Word to experience the beautiful and transformational discovery of who we are and why we exist, no matter how we slice it. Today's message is, when you know better, do better. Beloved Father, our text says, So I tell you this, and insist on it in the Lord, that you must no longer live as the Gentiles do, in the futility of their thinking. They are darkened in their understanding and separated from the life of God because of the ignorance that is in them due to the hardening of their hearts. Having lost all sensitivity, They have given themselves over to sensuality so as to indulge in every kind of impurity, and they are full of greed. That, however, is not the way of life you learned when you heard about Christ and were taught in him in accordance with the truth that is Jesus. Oh, that's a good word there. You were taught with regard to your former way of life to put off your old self which is being corrupted by its deceitful desires, to be made new in the attitude of your minds, and to put on the new self, created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness. Ephesians 4, 70-24. Y'all give me a moment. That word is so good to me. Many of you have heard the phrase, if you know better, then do better. Ignorance can only be an excuse for living outside of the knowledge of God when you ignore Him. In other words, if you don't know that Jesus is the way, you have an excuse for being lost. Or that Jesus is the truth, then loving and living in lies becomes your way of life. And if you don't know He is the life, then your ignorance of the lies you live in will be your death and destruction. Help me, Holy Ghost. Jesus is the light of the world. He is the knowledge that God sent into the world to overcome the darkness. Remember the scripture says, the light shines in the darkness and the darkness could not comprehend or understand it. That makes sense. While ignorance cannot understand knowledge. But the light knows exactly what will happen when it shows up in the darkness. Oh, that's not profound, but it's purposeful. It's not deep, just direct. Forrest Gump says, stupid is as stupid does. So if you know better, then you should do better. Paul is essentially saying the same thing in our opening text today. But we have to be taught Christ, not what the world teaches. King Jesus would often say to his disciples, you've heard it before, but now I say, as if to say, listen to my words, for they are spirit and they give life. They are the truth. What you may have heard before is not. The more you reject God, the more you reject knowledge. The further you sink in ignorance. And sometimes it gets so bad that one will ignore their own ignorance. Imagine that. Self-deception. When you think you know more than you do, and all of it is ignorance, as Ecclesiastes says, it's all chasing in the wind. Because it's not the knowledge of God. Listen to what Paul says. Do not deceive yourselves. If any of you think you are wise by the standards of this age, you should become fools so that you may become wise. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness in God's sight. As it is written, he catches the wise in their craftiness. And again, the Lord knows that the thoughts of the wise are futile. 1 Corinthians 3, 18-12 Now imagine that. Even the wisdom of this world is foolishness to God. Those who think they are wise, God considers them fools. It's like thinking you found the real thing when you've only found a counterfeit or a substitute. Oh, sort of what religion has become to the kingdom. It's a substitute for the real thing. And many are stuck because they believe that they found the real thing, which is the kingdom. It's like earning a million dollars playing Monopoly and buying up all the property in the hotels on Boardwalk and Park Avenue. But at the end of the day, it's still Monopoly. It ain't real. Paul says in our opening text that some people are futile in their thinking. They darken their understanding and separate from the life of God because of the ignorance or the hardening of their hearts. 
See, the interesting thing about knowledge is when you are exposed to it and ignore it, the more control ignorance has over you. It's like someone giving you a bunch of keys to unlock a door, but you don't know which one to use, or worse, you simply don't care. Faith comes by hearing. Isn't that simple? Just hear something long enough and you will start believing it. To have faith is just to believe. This is why we can't just hear anything. Faith comes by hearing and hearing or what we hear by the word of God. In other words, you're supposed to only listen to what thus saith the Lord. Our text says you were taught with regard to your former way of life to put off your old self, which is being corrupted by its deceitful desires, to be made new in the attitude of your minds, and to put on the new self, created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness. If anyone then knows the good they ought to do and doesn't do it, it is sin for them. James 4.17 We were taught to live a newer and better life, to know better and to do better. And pay attention to 1 John 1 9. We can't confuse God's love for us as justification to sin. If we confess when we do sin, he is faithful to forgive us, not from practicing a lifestyle of sin, but from making a mistake in sin. For there is a judgment who practice sin and reject salvation. Forrest Gump was considered stupid because he seemed slow, but his answer is still priceless today. Stupid is as stupid does. So family, if and when you know better, you gotta do better. Much better.